<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? It's the 50 Geeked Man. Wow, that is my old intro. I'm sorry, guys. Welcome back to Taurus Gaming, and we are here to play some Pokemon Showdown live. Now, this is a bit of an older team. A little weak to fire, but we do have Rune Wash and Heat Train to cover that weakness, as well as Latias. Now, what will this guy start with? Probably the Breloom or the Azumarill. So I want to start with my own Breloom. He's going to start off with the Gengar. Okay, we are Scarf Breloom, by the way. Uh, I kind of want to go into Ferrothorn on this thing. And then go on, go for the knockoff. Because nothing on his team here really appreciates having its item knocked off. Least of all, Gengar. Metagross might be able to take it because it's probably Mega Metagross. But, uh, aside from Metagross, I don't think anything else will be able to take knockoff too well. Alright, we gotta put the, uh, we gotta put the timer on this guy. He's taken forever. He is taking forever. He's really taking a sweet time. Still. I might uh, end up trying to cut until he decides that uh, it's the right time to make a play. Oh, there he goes. Finally, he made a play. He has used Disable. Interesting, interesting. Now, let's see if he has Taunt, perhaps. You know what? Actually, let's go for Stealth Rocks. Okay, so he's used Sub, so he's definitely not uh, choiced in any way, and he's definitely not... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Sash. And actually, it looks like he's leftovers. Okay. Um. Why would he? Why are you using leftovers over black sludge, dude? Like you guys can't see the chat right now, so you have no idea. Uh, but it says opposing Gengar restored a little HP using its leftovers. I don't know why he'd be using that over black sludge. Very strange. Uh, but he's gonna go into his Metagross now. As I go for knockoff. Okay, so he is in fact Mega. I kinda wanna see what he decides to do to me. What he has. He has Home Claws. Uh, I don't fear you, Metagross. I don't fear you at all. It can't get Fire Punch, so... Well, it can't it can get Hammer on. Yeah. But, uh... He dies to Stealth Rock, or to Rocky Helmet and uh, Iron Barbs. So, hey, that's good. I guess he was, like, thinking I would predict the Hammer Arm, but Hammer Arm isn't normal. Nobody runs Hammer Arm on uh, Mega Metagross. Like, what? Alright, so let's go into Latias. That's who I'm going to go into. He's going to go into his Breloom. He could outspeed if he's max speed, which he likely is. I really should have speed crept. But uh, if he's sashed, it's broken. His sash is broken, so he can spore Latias. That's fine for now. Not like Latias really does much. I'm really looking about get. Wow, he does not run speed investment. He does not have any speed investment. Okay, so he's toxic heal or poison heal. He can't sub or anything. And now Latias is asleep. I'm thinking go into Scizor. He's gonna Leech Seed. Okay. Would he be carrying the Protect? I don't know. Let's find out and go into our own Breloom. He could have sub. But we'll find out. Let's see what he does. 
so far we've only seen Spore and Leech Seed. Come on, guy. Come on. Na, 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 na. Ah, there we go. He's... Uh, hello? Did he misclick? I'm gonna... I asked him just now if he misclicked, because, uh... There's no reason he should have went for Spore when Latias is asleep. Unless he's really fucking new to the game. I'm at the bat, uh, the bottom of the ladder. I just want to let you guys know. Oh, this guy's new. Oh, this guy's definitely new. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now, is he going to sack off the Breloom or nah? He could predict me but this guy's level of play is not really good I feel like a Call of Duty player who's like just uh, prestiged and to max and then reset my stats oh, this is good oh <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, it's just... Oh, he's gonna go into Snorlax. Bad decision. Why would you go into Snorlax? To Rocky home it? Is that why? Is it? Was it worth all that damage? I predict this guy is gonna forfeit this game at some point. He is not making any decent plays. He left his Snorlax in to die. So at least he was smart enough to realize Snorlax was of no good to him anymore. Or maybe he was trying to sack it in the first place. I don't know. I have no idea what this guy is doing. He doesn't have a spinner or a defogger. So he can't get rid of these rocks. Okay, what would he go for right now? I don't really need Heatran, so let's go into Heatran and find out. Disable. Again. I guess we go for Flash Cannon predicting the Azumarill. He's gonna go into Gengar. Or, I mean, he's gonna sub. I don't know why you would. Like, what's the point, bro? <clears throat> you can't. If you can't do anything to Heatran, get out. We are Assault Vested, by the way. I, w I wanna point that out. I just thought it would be fun to have an assault vested Heatran. <laughs> uh, he's definitely not gonna go into the Azumarill, so let's flamethrower. Yeah, see, because I knew he was gonna pro try and pull some bullshit like that. Either that, or he was gonna switch into the Breloom. Okay, so what would this guy be? Would he have Sap Sipper? I don't see why he would have Sap Sipper. So let's go ahead and go into this. He's going to Aqua Tail. I'm going to Seed Bomb. I think he's Banded. Banded Huge Power, maybe? If he's Sap Sipper, I will eat the shirt off my back. Come on, buddy. Be Sap Sipper. G give me some. Give me a highlight. On this video. He's not Sap Sipper. Okay. So he's going to kill me with the Ice Punch finally. So Breloom's down. And so is Ferrothorn. Uh, that being said. He's. Wait a minute. He's not banded. What is he? I have no idea what item this dude is. 
let's go for Volt Switch. And then go, I guess, into Scizor. He can't spore us with Breloom, as he'll find out. And we can take his Breloom out with a Bullet Punch anyway. And the Acelgor is no problem. We have Aerial Ace on this Mega uh, Scizor instead of Roost. He's going to go into his Excelgor. He's going to Heatran. I have a sneaking suspicion he has Hidden Power Fire. I'm not taking the risk. Okay, he has Hidden Power, not Fire. What Hidden Power do you have? <clears throat> well, I have Flamethrower just cleans house. Uh, GG, I guess. <laughs> This was terrible. I probably could have gotten through this whole game without even uh, losing a single mod if I had realized he was going to play like this. <sighs> I wonder what hidden power he has. It was neutral to us, so what was it? Dark? It couldn't have been ground. I have no idea, but let's get another battle, because that game was just awful. <laughs> okay, this looks a bit more frightening. This is a much bigger threat. So let's see. I say... We go with the Breloom lead. Dash... Hold on. Okay, now if he scarfed uh, Darmanitan, he outspeeds Scarf Breloom. Fuck it! We're going Ferrothorn. Alright, let's check for the uh, Flamethrower and go into Heatran. <laughs> check for the Flamethrower, go into Heatran. It looks like this dude brought an almost entirely UU team. Darmanitan's UU. Let's see, is Noivern? Alright, let's see, uh, dash, data, Noivern, Noivern is BL, okay, BL2 I mean, dash, data, Mamoswine, Mamoswine is UU, as I thought, okay, Scizor and, uh, Sylveon I know are OU, and I think, I actually think Haluch is OU, so never mind, uh, he's taunted me. I don't know what he could possibly have, but I'm going to go for Hidden Power. He's going to go for Whirlwind. Interesting. So let's Volt Switch. So far he's got Taunt and Whirlwind. Does he even have any uh, offensive moves? Yeah, okay, that answers our question. Now his special attack is completely wrecked his special attack is just ass now and I outsped him wait a minute wait wait oh whirlwind is negative priority that's why okay so let's just kill him with the heatran uh who could he go into he could I guess go into Alucha. Or he could go into Sylveon to uh, tank the hit. So, let's just go for Ancient Power, see what he does. He's not going to be able to hit us, and Whirlwind's not going to do anything. I guess he could taunt, but... If he does that, he's silly. If he has Roost, now is the time to do it. Okay, no, we outsped him again, so that means he tried to go for Whirlwind. Okay, Halucha again. Does Halucha get knockoff or ice punch? I don't know, but I don't think either way Latias could take that. I don't know if Breloom, even when Scarf, could outspeed the Halucha. I don't really think it can. I don't want to go into Ferrothorn either. I need this Heatran for his uh, Scizor and possibly his Sylveon. I don't see Latias being too useful, though. So he's going to go for Drain Punch. Okay, predictable. Nice. 
Let's go for Psy Shock. He's probably going to go into the Scizor at this point. In which case, I can go into Heatran and fire off a Flamethrower, which he'll have to go into Dimanitan for that. Okay, so right into Heatran. It's good to know he has Drain Punch, though. It means he definitely doesn't have Roost or anything like that. Ah, U-Turn. Smart. Which means we can go into Rhythm Wash, though. Oh, he's gonna knock off. Okay. Let's Pain Split. We outspeed. Uh, unless he's running speed investment on the... No, he's gonna Ice Shard. That's actually gonna take us out. We resist that hit, so I'm surprised. Well, I'm gonna go for Stealth Ox now. He has nothing to get rid of it unless his Scizor carries uh, Defog. So, what do you go for the Flare Blitz here? Would he go for the Flare Blitz? He's going to go for the Earthquake, predicting the Heatran. Nope. That gets rid of his Scarf, which means Breloom can outspeed him now. That was in, that was big. That prediction was very big. So he's basically crippled now. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Oh, God. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please... Oh, thank you. I prayed to the Hax God Mo, the Heated Mo, and I did not miss. So now he's got Holucha. This thing's gonna be a pain. Now that, uh, Ferrith one's gone, I can't switch into his, uh, flying type moves. Not as easily, anyway. What was this thing running again? I can't remember. I think I'll go into Latias, though. He's got Flying Press, so he's going to go into Scizor. <clears throat> Do I go into the Heatran? I think we have to make the, uh, the risky play. He could go for Flying Press or Drain Punch here. And yeah, predicting uh, Heatran. He does not predict correctly, so let's go for the Flamethrower. Yes. We should outspeed him, right? Alright, uh, well, actually, no, we probably won't. He's got the Mammoth Swine. The Mammoth Swine is down. Yes, we don't have to worry about Earthquake anymore. However, Halucha is still an issue. Can we take... Hold on. I want to check um, and see if we could take a Flying Press or a Drain Punch from a Halucha. So, Heatran. OU Specially Defensive against Halucha. Blank set. Let's assume he's 252 in physical defense or attack. And let's give him dr Drain Punch and Flying Press. Okay, neither of them take us out. So we can safely go for Flamethrower. He has the Swords Dance and we killed him. Yes, I don't think crit mattered. Did it? Let's check. Uh... We want Flamethrower. Flamethrower? The crit mattered. The crit mattered! Oh, and he forfeited. He forfeited. Because he knew it was over from there. He train handled uh, Scizor, and my own Scizor handled his Sylveon. Wow, that crit mattered. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, I think I've played long enough. It's been about, like, nearly 20 minutes. So, thank you all for watching. I'm probably not going to bother editing anything from the video, so, you know, that saves me time and I can upload this immediately tomorrow, or rather I guess today, which is Sunday, uh, it's about like 2.31 in the morning, so that's why I'm confused as to whether or not I should say tomorrow or today. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you want to see more content like this, Go ahead and leave a like and a subscription. On second thought, maybe I will edit it because uh, I kind of need sound. Later. Bye.